Hello, Annie here, and I'm going to start by asking you a question. Are you sick of those wires in your base? Do you get annoyed with having to step over and crouch under ridiculously long cables? No, me, me neither. But I'm still going to show you how to go wireless anyway. You never know, I might even show you a cool little example circuit at the end as well. Now a quick disclaimer, I'm not going to cover smart switches in this video. If that's something you do want to see, click on the cards now and there's a couple of videos in the Rust playlist. So, first things first, let's go through the components that you're going to need. When the RF broadcaster is powered, it outputs an electrical signal at a set frequency. Which frequency? Well, that's up to you. To set it, simply look at it, hold E, and you can set it to any number you like. It's important that you use a random number so you don't have anyone on your frequency, otherwise there's a good chance you'll think your base is possessed. You can craft one from a level 2 workbench and it'll set you back 100 frag and a single tetrash. They are really weak so you will need to put these out of the way of bead a little trouble causers because 50 hit points is a doddle to kick over. The RF transmitter is a bit like a detonator. This is a little handheld device that you configure by holding the right mouse button while it's in your hand. You don't need power to work it, and as of now, batteries aren't in the game yet, so make the most of it while you can. When you click on the button, it will output a short burst of the frequency that you've set it to. You can craft these on a level 2 workbench and they cost 5 high qual and 1 tetrash. If you're not having any luck finding one of these, then you can get yourself down to the outpost and buy one for 75 scrap. The RF receiver is just an aerial, well more of an antenna really because it not only receives a signal, it outputs power when it does too. You can set the frequency by holding E and it has a power in and a power out that acts similar to a pass through. Like the other components, this can be crafted with a level 2 workbench and it costs 100 frag and 1 tech trash. So the pager then. This is more of an alarm system that triggers in your pocket with an audible alarm or if you've silenced it then it'll vibrate, again audible. So really it makes two types of audible sounds to tell you something's been triggered on that frequency. You can set it by going into your inventory and adjusting the frequency there and this is where you get to silence it or stop the pager to. You can craft these with a level 2 workbench that costs 50 frag and 1 tetrash. The good thing about these little beauties is if you set the pager to a monument SOS frequency then it'll notify you when someone's there, usually when they're hacking a lock crate. So let's get the basics right first. The receiver needs power to go into it, then you can put power out to the component that you want to receive power. In this case we're going to connect it to the broadcaster. All you pros out there will know that this is pointless, but I'm just doing it to explain the operation of the systems. The broadcaster only has one power setting, which is power in. It doesn't have any pass-throughs, but when you have live power going into it, the broadcaster will permanently output whatever frequency it's set to. In our case, the pager. All of this is done by clicking our transmitter, and I'm hoping that you can keep up. I'm sure you'll be fine. If we set all of our components to the same frequency, say 5555, five, 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 then they will all effectively communicate with each other when activated. If we change the receiver and the transmitter to 4444, four, 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 and the broadcaster and the pager to 5555, five, 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 then we can activate the receiver, which will in turn activate the broadcaster, which in turn will activate the pager for a short time. I'm sure you're getting the picture. Which components you have running on the same frequency will depend on the circuit which you're trying to build. I will show you one basic circuit that you can use with a couple of these wireless components and it's going to be just a basic house alarm that will let you know when someone's raiding you when you're anywhere on the map. All you need is a blocker, a branch, a broadcaster and along with your pager because that's the alarm. Now make sure your pager is set to the same frequency as your broadcaster and that's pretty much it, you're good to go. All we have to do then is place the blocker, put power into the bottom then the power out of the top goes into the broadcaster. This should activate your pager. Now here's the sly bit. 
if you place an almost broken branch next to your door and put power into it and then the power out goes into the block pass through this will stop your pager when someone uses c4 on the door or explosive rounds it'll break the branch allowing power through the blocker into the broadcaster hence setting your alarm off and this works anywhere on the map as well if the branch somehow survives, then a typical Rust player is going to see the exposed branch and break it anyway because, let's face it, we're all bumholes when it comes to playing Rust. Either way, it's all going to have the same effect and it's going to notify you when someone's in your base. Again, this is just one example, just to give you a taste of how effective wireless components can be. There is a million other things you can make. Obviously, I don't want to cover too many in this video because it'd last forever. And I'm sure no one wants that. But if you do want me to go into a bit more detail, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll do the best I can. So as usual, I've tried to keep it as informative as possible. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've watched it this far, let me know you're a legend in the comments down below. Remember, you can catch me on social media. Links down in the description. Really, really appreciate it if you've watched this far. The support has been amazing. The channel is doing really well. So thank every single one of you for that. I have started doing free game giveaways, which are first come first serve on the Discord server. Again, link is down in the description. If you want to be a part of it, feel free to join. And that's enough of me ranting. So again, thank you. And I'll see you in the next video.